Ali, many um, people say uh, that they don't have a story or who'd want to hear about me or I'm not important. And you mentioned your father being just a doctor. Uh, so how did you and he overcome this? Mm. Um, yeah, I think that's a really funny question because, you know, growing up, my dad was, um, I mean, he does tell this story, which is that he had grand plans for sort of what he was going to do. And he had a brother. And my grandmother um, was very typical of her generation. And she said to her sons, you're going to be doctors and that's it. <laughs> you can't be anything else. Oh, you could be a dentist. She said to my dad, you could be a dentist or a doctor. And that's it. And, um, and there's always been this kind of, and, and we've always said to him, it's the best thing that grandma, uh, it's the best thing your mother ever could have done. You know, she gave you a profession that has, you have made a life out of this profession. And, you know, in his sort of way, he's always sort of like, oh, I couldn't even choose, you know, what I wanted to be. And um, I think what, what's, what's been great about that is that um, he's been able to have this really incredibly rich life, even though he feels like there was a crossroads at, at sort of 16 or 17 when he, he was told, no, you can't make a choice. You can't build some incredibly whatever life my dad had imagined he could have had. <laughs> you know, you'll, you'll have this life. And, and now, you, you know, he looks back and he says, I have so many things to tell. You know, he went to Japan. He was, he was drafted in, um, in, he was 35, but in America you could be drafted at 35 if you were a doctor. And they sent him to this place in Texas and um, they said to him, you know, you, you know, put him on, they put all these guys on the field or something and they said, does anyone out there know anything about nuclear medicine? This is like 1965, or, which is now MRI, no magnetic, no one knew anything about it then. And my dad's looking around and he's, nobody's raising his hand. So he raises his hand, you know, he says, oh, I know something about nuclear medicine. And his buddy says, what are you doing, Levin? You know, put your hand down. Nobody volunteers for anything in the Army. And he, and he says, I said, Dad, why did you do that? This is in his book, you know. And he says, well, I figured if I knew something no one else knew, they were going to put me on, like, the front lines of the fighting. And so they, they called him into this sergeant, or I don't know, takes him in and says, great, you're going to Japan. And he's just married to my mother then, and I think she might have been pregnant with my brother. And they moved to Japan where he set up some, you know, MRI unit at the time. And they lived in Japan for two years. Uh, my brother was born there. And it's an amazing story. Like, in what they, you know, the, 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 the time they had there. The fact that he went there at all and um, at this time. And so you think, oh, I just had this whole life. Spent my entire career in one universe, you know, one place. But when you start to think about it, things happen and all, all, you know, the world opened up and, and there's so many stories. There's so many stories from a guy who lived, spent almost his entire life in the same city working for the same hospital. So many stories.